We've been told that no till, no yield. And we've also been told that no till soils get really hard. But what's the real answer? First, I want to say to you, tillage is an intrusive tool. And also they say that no-till soils get very compacted. Well, is that true? Yes, no-till soils do get compacted. And the reason for that is no-till doesn't work very well without cover crops. I'm here in South Carolina, and I'm gonna tell you the tale of two fields. Here are two soils, no-till with covers. Look how dark it is. And I'm gonna show you conventional, heavily conventional tillage soils with high inputs. What are the three things that make this soil distinct? This farmer has a different mindset. He knows the soil's alive. This farmer treats the soil as a growing medium. The soil biology is very diverse here. I think we forget that the plant is the mouth of the soil. These soils are continually fed liquid sun, taking light energy and converting it into liquid sun. Way diverse. This one has no diversity, and this soil is starving. It only has corn and soybean, and it has no cover crops at the end of the year. So what's the answer about compaction? Let's make it very clear. What fixes compaction is living plants and living roots, leaking all these acids and creating these aggregates. You see these little BBs? Those are called aggregates. I want that, and I want it in both systems. Can I make this system better? Yes, with living roots. After my corn or my soybean, I put more roots. Cover crops, diverse, change the system. This is why this soil is so much different than this soil. The organic matter is higher here. This one's gonna have more weeds. The weed population has changed. Why? Because the microbial community has changed. It all comes back to the living covers make a huge impact.